Berger passing up to Wall in the center. Now back out towards Linden. Back to Kerwin for the shot. Deflects it up in front. Back out towards Linden for a goal. Welcome to Penn State Tour Linden. Able to re-give the Nittany Lions the lead and as one RPI transfer scored for Canisius, the other RPI transfer follows it up. It's 2-1 Nittany Lions with 10.37 to go in the first period. Jovanovic along the near side trying to find Williams again. Taken back away by Lampa. Now Sarlo with the break looking for Paquette. Paquette spinning around far circle. Almost a breakaway for Penn State. They still have the puck and it goes back to Lampa. Lampa to Sarlo. Sarlo with the shot in front of that and the goal! Picture perfect right in front of the net to take the lead with 5.27 to go. Getting the go-ahead goal is Christian Sarlo, his sixth goal of the season. And for the first time today, Penn State's out in front, 3-2 Nittany Lions. Penn State wins the offensive zone draw. Quick shot from Crespo. It's going to be deflected. Rebound goes back to Geneva. He'll get a shot off. Another deflection goes towards the far side. Wisconsin recovers this one. It's Horbach. Horvath going to lose possession for a second. Geneev right there as well. Now a battle for it along the far boards. Geneev able to get back up and get a stick on it to keep it alive for Penn State. Now trying to get a pass out to Linden. It's intercepted by Lindmark. Lindmark spinning out towards his right side, trying to pass one all the way down to Bantle. That went wide. That'll likely be an icing. Well, Logan on the offensive end, you kept saying rebound, deflection, but Penn State just not able to get any of them. It's been a problem. They never get that second chance opportunity. And, you know, this is a, you know, yesterday they were able to control a few of them, but today not really going their way. 22 shots, but not a lot of them quality opportunities. You saw Dow get two in a row before, but really just not stringing things together on the offensive end for the Nittany Lions. Far circle draw upcoming, still 13 17 on the clock. Mick Eckerin taking it for the Nittany Lions. He wins that one for Penn State. Goes to Kevin Wall at the Big Ten logo. Wall moving up. His shot deflected by Lindmark. Rebound goes all the way back behind the net of McClellan. Now back out towards the far side. Penn State still, still trying to recover. McMenamin had a stick on it. Now back to Wall. Wall behind his own net. Get a centering pass off. Mick Eckerin's shot goes wide right. Rebound goes initially back to Dowd. Now Bantle with it along the near side. Trying to make a move past Dowd. And Bantle able to go down. Puck still loose along the near boards, and now Penn State recovers. It's McEachern racing out towards the near side. McEachern near circle. Now being pressured, goes back to Wall. Wall trying to get a pass out to McEachern, just missed his mark. Gorniak right there to get the interception for Wisconsin. Now it's Kuhlman's again for the Badgers. Trying to get a weak pass off. It goes wide left. Penn State recovers. Now Kevin Wall in between the blue lines has it taken back away by the Badgers. And now clearing it out towards Penn State's defense. Dow trying to get a long pass to Wall. It's taken back by Kuhlemans. Kuhlemans going to try and clear it off along the far boards. Now a spinning move from Tyler Gratton. Two on two for Penn State. Gratton centering pass finds no one. Gorniak going to clear it back down for Wisconsin. And Penn State has getting their opportunities at the moment. They had two really good ones, Justin, but just missed on both. Well, Servagno was right there on the centering pass from Gratton, but it was just out of reach of Servagno stick. I mean, Servagno could not have gotten much closer to McClellan other than, you know, maybe a little bit of, um, you know, interference, but nothing there. Servagno just could not get his stick out and, you know, reach his arm out. So Penn State, another opportunity goes by the wayside. Faceoff can be coming in Wisconsin's offensive zone along the near circle. Stramel for the Badgers taking on Lampa. Penn State now in the lead in faceoffs and able to win that one. They've won two more faceoffs than the Badgers, but this one going to be cleared back down and going to be another icing called on the Nittany Lions with exactly 12 minutes on the clock. It looks like they were trying to, you know, flip the ice, maybe, you know, just fling it down there softly, get there, beat the icing, but Penn State just shot it down a little too far, giving them the icing and another draw to now to the left of Liam Soulier. Face off going to be upcoming in the far circle. That was a draw on the face off, and Kerwin got his stick on it and gets it out to Lampa. Penn State able to get the victory on the face off. Lampa trying to go far side and near side to Sarlo. He'll backhand that one down all the way to McClellan outside his own net. 
Badgers defense back with it. Still trying to clear it out, our Wisconsin. It was LeMaster now being pressured along the far side by Lampa and Sarlo. Lampa now with it for Penn State along the far side. Trying to get it out to Sarlo along the far circle. Now Kerwin. Kerwin back out to Berger, getting a slap shot that's wide right. The Naples right there along the blue line for Penn State. Now Lampa behind the net. Lampa out towards his right. Able to find Paquette, picks it, kicks it back out to Kerwin. Kerwin trying to go out towards his left side. Paquette still there, now battle along that far corner. Paquette and Kerwin trying to come back up with it for Penn State. It, go, it skirts back out towards the left of Kerwin, and Wisconsin able to recover, and shipping it back down was LeMaster. It's back in between the blue lines, and Servagno able to get a stick on it for a second, but LeMaster recovers for Wisconsin in its own defensive zone. Trying to go back along the far board. Shade had a stick on it for Penn State. Now along the blue line, it's recovered by the Badgers again. LeMaster still with it along the far side. Now this time going to clear it back down. And now at the Penn State logo is Tyler Gratton. Gratton now moving out towards the near side, out towards his right. Gratton has it taken away for a second, but he recovers now along the far side. Trying to spin out towards his right. And now pressure from the Badgers able to take it back away again. Still along the near side, and now a chance here for Newton trying to get around Shade. Newton getting an off-angle shot. It was saved from Soulier. Newton gets his own rebound now along the far side, trying to get a centering pass off. It's taken back by Penn State. Now it's Ashton Calder. Calder trying to go along the far side. His pass deflected but recovered by Jimmy Dowd. Dowd still along the far side for Penn State, getting a centering pass off for Calder. Calder trying to backhand, looking for Geneva, and it was saved by McClellan with 10.08 on the clock. Yeah, I mean, there was Penn State. You saw Jimmy Dowd skate up the ice fast with it, get it in get the forwards to try to get something going and just yet again stop by McClellan who's now up to 23 saves and he's looking like how he was the night that Wisconsin was able to knock off the number one team in the country in Minnesota. It'll be a far circle face off upcoming in Penn State's offensive zone. McEachern against Lindmark. Penn State against Wisconsin. Wisconsin holding that one nothing lead. Wisconsin able to win the face off draw. It's Vorlicki but it's taken back by the Nittany Lions and Kevin Wall. Now centering pass for Mack, getting a shot and a chest save from McClellan with the shot from Mack with 10.01 still on the clock. You can see the defense getting involved on the offensive side. We talked about Jimmy Dowd a few times. There was Simon Mack. It was something that Penn State has looked to do all season. They went for a few games struggling to do so, but picked it up you know, last weekend against Minnesota here again tonight against Wisconsin. This time a near circle face off, one again by Penn State, shot from Crespo goes high. Rebound goes back to Vorlicki along the far corner. Penn State still trying to keep it in its zone, and they do on a great play. Now it's Genia back to Calder, trying to make a move out past Dexheimer, unable to do so. Now along the near side, puck still loose, recovered by Crespo along the blue line for the Nittany Lions. Crespo passing it out towards the near side to Mack. Now going back down to Linden. Linden's pass intercepted by Dexheimer. It's taken back by Wisconsin. Badgers still with it in their own defensive zone. It's Vorlicki along the far side. Vorlicki going to send one down, and the arm goes up for Liam Soulier with 9.27 to go. And you see Penn State eventually, you know, they were still getting some pressure onto McClellan, but then Wisconsin sends it back out to clear it and get it away from their goaltender. Be another offensive zone draw for the Nittany Lions. This one gonna be coming in the far circle. Still McEachern taking on Lindmark. And Lindmark going a little too early, will reset. Still 9.27 on the clock in period number two. Wisconsin holding on to the one goal lead. That one goal coming early is a goal from Corson Kuhlman. And McEachern able to win the draw for Penn State. It goes back to Berger along the blue line. Berger down low to Denaples. Denaples going off the boards, able to find McEachern. McEachern has his pass deflected by McMenamin, and it goes back between the blue lines after pressure from Bantle. Penn State still with possession. Now it's Kevin Wall back in his own defensive zone, going back behind his own net towards the left side. Kevin Wall for Penn State now along the far side and has some space. Kevin Wall with an opportunity. Wall centering pass, McMenamin, and he scores! Senior to senior on senior day. It's Connor McMenamin scoring the goal for the Nittany Lions. His seventh on the season. And we're tied at one with 8.57 to go. Garcia racing right, getting a shot deflected by the Tigers. Walleen still with it behind the net. 
Gets it to Lobdell, back in the blue line, using the boards to get it back to Walline. Centering pass for Korea, getting a shot in the goal! Courtney Korea keeps things going for the Nittany Lions off the pass from Lindy Lobdell. Penn State with three quick goals in this first period. They're up 3 0. And now intercepted for a second by Janicki. Tried to start a break. And now there will be one being started by Penn State. Lindy Lobdell near side getting a shot off and a goal. Lindy Lobdell ties things up for the Nittany Lions. That's her first goal on the season on the Penn State breakaway. And we're tied up at one. Second period about to get underway from the Pagula Ice Arena as the Penn State Nittany Lions take on the Brown Bears. Logan Mirandis and Adam Sheets on the broadcast for tonight's game. And Adam, Penn State already holding a 1-0 lead, but Brown pretty much been controlling things in this game prior to that Penn State goal. Yeah, they've really been controlling it. They've, Penn State's had some trouble clearing out of their defending third. Brown's made them play, have eight shots on goal, but the difference right now, power play. Penn State 1-1 on a power play with a goal for Waleen. Brown, 0 of 1, had an opportunity right before the end of the first period, unable to capitalize. So Brown's going to start capitalizing on these shot opportunities if they want to come back here and win here on the road. Second period underway. Faceoff was won by Penn State, but they're immediately clearing it out. And now Brown back with it. Sickich trying to send it up back towards Hurd, and Penn State's defense able to get right back up to it. Captain to captain action as Gangarosa passing it up towards Uline, who spins back around and refines Gangarosa. Gangarosa trying to send one towards Janicki. Pass went too far, and Piersack able to get there first. No icing call as Brown still has it behind their own net. Still trying to clear that one out, and they're able to do just that. Hurd trying to get around Zanin and had it for a second, but it's stolen right back by Penn State. Janicki now going to clear it back out behind the net of Doyle, and the Bears going to retake over as Penn State making a substitution. Chiroki. Now going to try and clear one out herself, trying to get past Hemminger, unable to do so. Now the Nittany Lions back up with it. Walline able to find Korea. Korea on a little breakaway on the near side. Korea trying to get a backhand centering pass, and it was taken back away by Brown. Penn State now back with it, and it's stolen right back by Williamson. Williamson centering pass, backhand from Iglo. Was, no one was home there, and now Brown still trying to get right back to it. Both sides with exchanging opportunities, unable to make anything out of it. Yeah, both guys, great opportunities there. On to run outs, one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, unable to capitalize, and now we'll see what can happen here as Brown turns it over in their own third. Penn State had it for a second in the neutral zone, but it goes back out towards Gallagher. Gallagher racing towards the middle, back to Igla. Her shot deflected, trying to get there on the rebound again and lost it. Now it goes back out towards Gavin, and she has it taken away by Walleen. Walleen looking for goal number two. Now I'm going to pass it back out. Her shot was saved by Doyle. That was Mackay who got the shot. But good shot attempt there from Ilary Mackay. Yeah, Mackay with a great opportunity. Just a better save there for Doyle, who's been really good this season. A 9-4-2 save percentage, 2-1-1 and one and one on the year. 1-6-9 goals given up. And just a great glove save there for Doyle to keep Brown and keep it only a one-goal deficit. Faceoff going to be in Penn State's offensive zone. Maya Vazlet going to win the faceoff for Penn State. Back to Roberts, now Lobdell on the blue line. You get a shot off, deflected, and saved from Doyle, whistle blown. Yeah, Doyle with another save there, and Penn State starting to rack up the shot attempts. Only had three in the first period, already up to six, doubling that total two minutes into the second period. Doyle now with five saves on the contest. Another faceoff again, they're going to be in the far circle. This one going to be again won by the Nittany Lions. Lomdell on the blue line. Another shot coming from her. Another glove save from Doyle. Wash, rinse, repeat. Yeah, Doyle with another save. And we said Penn State, they had to probably change. Coach Campersall probably not happy with the way that first period went, even though they came out with a 1-0 lead. Now you're starting to see them a lot more aggressive here in period number two. Another faceoff upcoming. Penn State's won the last two faceoffs. They have the 12-3 advantage in the faceoff category tonight. This time, a draw, and both sides still battling for it. Penn State comes up with it. It's Roberts. Roberts going to find Lomdell again. Going to move out towards her left, now towards the center. Another shot. That's high. Rebound chance, and Brown gets to it quickly. Machado trying to keep it alive, but unable to do so. Now it goes back to Garcia on the blue line for Penn State. Trying to get a centering pass off, and a shot, and a goal! Yeah. 
Alyssa Machado is in the right place at the right time for the Nittany Lions, able to double this lead. Penn State up 2-0. That's goal number four for Machado on the season. Yeah, Machado, great job filling the lane right down in the center of the ice, going one-on-one -on -one with Doyle. Perfect shot, her fourth goal of the season. Perfect placement there for Machado on the shot. And Brown starting to have some problems Penn State had in that first period, clearing the puck out of their defending third, and Machado making the Bears pay. Incredible resilience there from the Nittany Lions, able to keep that one in their offensive zone, and all set up on the initial shot from Lindy Lobdell, and Nittany Lions are right there on the rebound, and Machado couldn't have been in a better position. Now that puck gonna go out and into the bleachers, and another face-off upcoming. This one gonna be in Penn State's defensive zone. Yeah, now it's definitely time for Brown to pick up the pace here, down two nothing. Have not taken a shot in a very long time. Have not taken a shot here in the second period. Gonna have to be very aggressive, trying to get some shots on Josie Both and try to get some goals and get back into this. Magnia Fico gonna be on the face-off for Brown, gonna take on Maya Vaslet or Janicki, excuse me, and Janicki gonna win the face-off for the Nittany Lions. They've been dominant so far in that category. Trying to find Uline, it was taken right back by the Bears. And now coming away with it is Brown getting a backhand shot save from Bothan. That was Cherokee on the shot. Now rebound the Browns, the Bears still back with it. And Hancock able to keep it alive. Gonna find Cherokee back of the net. Cherokee trying to make a move out past Uline. Has it taken back away by Janicki. Janicki spinning around behind the net of Bothan. And he used the board to pass it out towards Stecker. Stecker near side to far side, just missing the net of Zanin. And Hancock gonna win the battle to beat Zanin. Icing call. Yeah, as we said, Penn State trying to get some runouts a lot more aggressive now offensively, trying to attack Brown, not allow Brown to really maintain the way this is going to be played. Doyle's going to have to be sharp now with the way Penn State's playing, probably more shots coming her way. This faceoff going to come in the far circle of Brown's offensive zone. It'll be won by the Bears initially as Igla trying to get there and is cleared back away by the Nittany Lions. Zanin racing up past the Penn State logo on the far side, trying to get a shot off deflected by Gavin and another faceoff upcoming. Yeah, and Penn State, they've been very good so far in faceoffs opportunity, winning 16 to three right now. So probably a faceoff in now Brown's defending third, an opportunity to win another faceoff and set up another attack for the Nittany Lions. This faceoff gonna come on the near circle, getting a replay of Alyssa Machado's goal. Doesn't get a lot cleaner than that as Maya Vaslet, Carly Garcia on the assist. Faceoff gonna be won by the Nittany Lions. Walleen gonna find Korea initially. Gavin gonna take it right back away. Gallagher on the near side in the neutral zone. Trying to make a move past Hemminger. It goes all the way back out towards behind the net of Bothan. Buts Butsy trying to spin around, is taken back by Hemminger. Able to find Walleen, now moving towards the center to Korea. Korea trying to find Mackay on the breakaway and went off her skate. The unfortunate break there for the Nittany Lions. An opportunity, Mackay was gonna have a one-on-one -on -one shot against Doyle off her skate, forces Brown to regain possession. Now the Bears racing up again, a three-on-two opportunity. It's Bjornsson, Bjornsson losing it for a second and now Penn State immediately able to capitalize. Now on the near side, Walleen colliding with a body there and Penn State gonna take it right back off the boards. Hemminger trying to get a pass off, but it goes all the way back towards Doyle's net. Pierce Sack gonna take over for Brown, and it will be Sikic taking it away for Brown and trying to clear one up. It deflects off Carly Garcia, and now trying to get a centering pass off. Backhand shot from Sheldon, who's saved from Bothan. Rebound goes all the way back out towards the Nittany Lions on the far side, and Sheldon is down back behind the net. 